Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new series for Green Hell. I have just started a new world and then made my way to my building site. This season, we are going to build at the drug facility. Uh, this is the new builder's update, and I am hyped out of my mind. And we are going to make a treehouse today. Um, oh, I'm going to try my best. Uh, what I need to do right now is I need to solidify food and drink and shelter and a place to save. Once I'm done with that, I will start building the treehouse. I'm freaking pumped. The drug facility is a great place to build. I built here one season, like three or four, maybe two or three seasons ago. And if you clear out all of these bushes, there's a really nice flat area to build here. I'm not going to be building there. I'm going to be building a treehouse over in that direction. It's going to be phenomenal. The first thing I'm going to want to do is, it's been a long time since I played this game. I guess the first thing I'm going to want to do is make tools. So that would be awesome. There's a place for me to sleep right there, but there's no place for me to um, pass the time. So in order to get tools, we're going to have to get some uh, sticks off the ground, and we're going to have to get some stone. I think the best place for me... Oh, hold on. I just saw a stick. There we No, an arrow. Oh, a tribal arrow. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. Uh, you know, it's funny. Um, one thing that this place is going to get is tribal visitors, and I'm just hoping it doesn't happen, you know, too soon. We're just going to have to see. Alright, now I haven't played survival in this game in a while, so I'm like, where the hell are all the rocks? I think the rocks are usually along the shoreline, if I remember correctly. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be looking for some rocks. We need to make a bunch of stuff. I guess the first thing I'm going to make is an axe. Sounds pretty good to me. That will allow me um, to chop down some trees. And I'm really not seeing any rocks here. Um, you know what I want? The big boulders. That's what I want. Right there. There we go. So if you right click on these, you can harvest them and you get three rocks. Three rocks for the price of one. So what can I do with a rock? Um, I need a stone axe. So that's a stick and a small stone, which I have. Okay. So craft. I did like write down the crafting menus because they don't tell you in this game. And it's been a long time since I've played it. So I don't know them. Oh, and really quick on the way over here, I did grab some bananas. And that brings you guys all the way up to speed. The next thing we're going to need is a hand drill. Okay. So we're going to have to find a big tree to tr chop down. And I guess we'll go... Oh, hold on. Grab that. We're going to need a big tree to chop down. We're also going to need uh, rope. Rope and more rope. Like, tons of rope. So, whenever you build a uh, campfire... I'm going to talk to you guys like it's your first time seeing this game. Because I'm sure a lot of you people are going to be new to the game. Whenever you build a campfire, you want to have something over it. Because if it starts raining... And we are in the Amazon rainforest. So, if it starts raining, you're simply not going to... Uh, uh, there's, there's, the fire's not going to stay lit. So... You want to build it under something. And the cool thing about this place is I already have something to build it under, which is phenomenal. Um, I do not want to be carrying around these with me. These small leaf piles are cool because they'll turn into uh, uh, fire starting material. So I'll just kind of put those right there. And we're going to come over here and chop down a tree. This looks like a good tree to go. If you leave the stumps, the trees will grow back. Or do you... Is that, that is the case in this game, right? Guys, I play a lot of survival games and they all have different rules. I'm pretty sure you want to leave the stumps. Almost positive. Not quite positive. Maybe like 85%. And we're going to grab everything from that tree. And you want to grab the sticks first because the sticks you can put in your bag. If you grab a long stick, you can't grab the little sticks anymore. All right, that looks pretty good. And you can turn those big sticks into small sticks. So that is going to be wonderful. So let's go into our notebook here. And we're going to look in uh, the... This, this whole notebook is redone. So please bear with me as I try and... Uh, stumble my way through it. Um, so there's the traps. There's that. No entries. Water collection. Um, grill. There we go. Small fire. I don't know if I could put it in the... I'll just put it right there. Why not? And now we're going to need some small sticks and some big sticks. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Alt and I'm going to drag this over here. And then I'm going to come out here and I'm going to cut down some more trees. And gather some more logs and long sticks and small sticks and all that stuff. <gasps> By the way, uh, the place I'm going to build the treehouse is that tree right there. And I'm probably going to use this area as a farm. Wait, because you could, there's animal husbandry in this game. You can also uh, grow trees and stuff. Wow. you got to be kidding me. Now, you might be thinking, Cage, that freaking thing went quick. What the heck? What is wrong with you? Um, Here's the deal. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's grab that. Here's the deal. Oh, that scared me. I thought it was, an, I thought it was uh, something here to kill me. All right, here's the deal. As you craft stuff in this game, it will get uh, of better and better quality. It'll break less and less. So you just gotta just gotta keep at it, keep crafting. Um, 
I can make a stone... Uh, wait, the stone axe? Yeah, axe. It's two sticks, two small stones. I could have made a regular stone uh, axe, but I... There's two There's two stone axes. Stone axe, and then there's the axe. And it's like a better, it's like a better stone axe. I should have made that, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Where was the tree I was cutting down? Uh, I don't know. Oh, maybe this was it. Yeah, this one was it, I think. So let's go ahead and cut this down. Let's grab some more sticks. The campfire is now set up and ready to go. I'm looking for rope, by the way. There's supposed to be rope on this tree. Getting a little nervous with the rope situation. Hopefully it's just that one tree. All right, cool. We got some rope on this tree. Uh, what I should have done really before I make the campfire is I should have made a place to save the game. That's kind of a mistake. But hopefully it doesn't cost me. Um, it doesn't take much to make the uh, uh, to make a place to save. So that's what we're going to do right now. And I'm also going to make myself a better axe. And this, um, the, one of the cool, there are many cool things about the drug facility. Another cool thing about the drug facility that I have not told you guys about is the fact that it comes with a cooking pot, which is awesome. If you don't, if you don't like come here and you have to worry about like, you know, water and everything, you got to boil water. You need something to boil it in. Keep an eye out for coconuts. You can break them in half and boil water in that. Also, turtles are a good way to do, do it. Um, I, I kind of wish there was turtles around here, but I guess you can't have everything. All right, so there's the campfire right there, and we're going to make a bed right here. When you go to pick stuff up, watch out for things crawling around on it. You'll hear it pretty loudly if there is. If you if you see, like, a millipede or something crawling around, drop it right away. Or it's going to, uh, you know, it's going to nail you, and you're going to get, I think, poisoned. And we're going to break this out. Come on. There we go. I can't save in this, right? Because I didn't make it. Let me just double check. No, I didn't think so. If there is, a, I think there's a place to save around here if you play the story mode. People are like telling me, like last time I was here, like, hey, you can save there. There's a calendar. And I kept looking for it. I couldn't find it. And people are like, no, no, that's story mode. You can't, you know, can't use that in, in open world survival mode, whatever you want to call this. Uh, there we go. That's the best way to save or the cheapest way, I should say. There we go. And now we're going to pick these up. We should have everything we have. We need to make it pretty much. We might need a few more ferns. And then we can save the game. Once you save the game, you can kind of take a deep breath. There's there's, there's two things in this game that, like, you know, when you first start that you're going to really want to do right away. You can't really relax until they're done. you got to find a place to live, number one. And number two, find a, find a way to save. And then once you've done that, you know, any kind of catastrophe that befalls you, uh, it's not really, uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. You can handle it. But until then, if you die, you just, you just like, start over. And... Go. Let's go ahead and put that in there, and we're gonna save the game. Looks like the sun's going down too. I won't sleep here because it's on the ground. There's a better place to sleep in the area. Um, I think this one will be a good one. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, whatever. Now let's do this one. Uh, actually, let's do this. Some of these, um, some of these trees can drop uh, unknown nuts, and it's a really good source of fat. In this game, you're gonna need fat, carbohydrates protein and water so and sometimes it can be a little bit of a challenge depending on where you are you know what's going on in your in your game but this is a good spot there's a lot of food around here already so now we go ahead and save the game come on it's a little tricky to get the save thing up there override yes awesome now the next thing uh let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get this fire uh, let's grab the pot and put it on the fire here we go and you press tab, and it opens, and you open up your thing, and now you can just drag this down there. Um, I should probably get some water for this first. Oh, that's something I can't do. I can't move water around. Oh, I mean I can, but it's kind of annoying. I'd have to like drag the, I'd have to bring the pot down to the water and then bring it up here, very, very slowly and annoyingly. Um, I think I'm going to take a little bit of time to look for a coconut. If I can find a, okay, I don't know what that was, but I do have a leech by the way, so I'm gonna check out. My arms and my legs. There he is, you little bugger. Get out of here. Now, I don't know if there's a trick to finding coconuts, but I don't even know if they could be. Oh, there's some right there. Oh, that's right. I could, like, knock them out of the tree, can't I? Okay, so to knock them out of the tree, we're going to make ourselves a, a basic spear. And we just do this. We go to, we right click, do craft, weak spear. All right, that's number... Uh, what number is that? Number one. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, this is great. Okay, so I should be able to... I don't, I don't remember. Throw the spear. Hold down. Right click. Wait, what? Oh, that's weird. Right click is cycling through my stuff. Interesting. So I'm holding down the mouse button. Uh, weapon throw. Mouse three. It's not doing it. Ugh, crap. I don't know why it's not throwing the spear. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Stupid spear. Block. R is block, by the way. All right, I'm just going to try and find one on the ground. This right here is Molinaria plant. And anytime you see that, you're going to want to grab it. It's going to be your bandages. There we go. You get these leaves, and then you can turn them into... You can just do craft and turn them into bandages. I'm going to hold out, though, because I, I, I might make ash bandages. Uh, assuming I don't get hurt before I need to do actual bandages. Because if you do ba regular bandages, you're going to get, like, infected. Um... Unless you have ants. I don't remember exactly how it works. Something about ants <laughs> helping with infections. But it's been a it's been a little bit for me. I hope I don't regret this, but I reset my controls back to default. Now, I'm thinking I changed my controls for a good reason. But I can't remember what that is, so I'm hoping that it's not going to be a problem. Oh, can, maybe you can't even knock those out of the trees. It looks like it hit it, didn't it? I can't really tell. I'll try one more time. Oh, there we go. I just wasn't hitting it. I figured there'd be some kind of, like, arrow drop or something. But, okay, so you can only hold one of these at a time. All right, so I'm going to bring this back over here. And that is a cool way to get coconuts. Yeah, I, I figured there'd be, like, an arrow drop. or Not an arrow drop, but, like, a spear throwing drop. Because usually when you throw stuff in this game, especially spears, it seems to... It seems that it really drops quite a bit. You know, like you're thrown really weakly. All right, there we go. So once you have your coconuts, bring them over here. You might be asking, what are you getting a coconut for? And you have that pot. Well, where is the pot? Did I end up with the pot on there? I, yeah, I picked it up. That's right. Leave it there. So what you're going to do is you're going to take out your trusty axe or you're going to expand. No, you got to hit it with your axe. All right, and then you got water clean. I'm going to go ahead and drink that. Okay, and then I'm going to take this, I'm going to craft. And if you put that in the crafting area with the rope, you will get a badone. Hell yeah, bro. Now, if you if you keep breaking it, it'll eventually break in half. So if you're playing and you don't have like, um, and you don't have a water source nearby, or you don't have like a pot or whatever, um, you could go ahead and break that in halves. And then what you do is you just leave it out in the rain, and anytime it rains, it'll collect fresh water. Or you could take it to a river or something, a lake, and then bring it over here and boil it on the... Just like I'm going to boil stuff there. All right. Uh, craft this one as well. And two badones pretty good. There's another um container like that. It's not a badone. It's like a metal like canteen or something. And it holds like 100 units of water. These badones hold 40, which isn't bad. Oh, I also picked some fruit earlier. Let's go, let's go ahead and uh, eat some fruit here. Actually, let's just take a look at our stats and see what we got right here. Ah, we're good. What we really need is sleep. What time is it? I want to go to bed too early. Um, time, time, time. Yeah, I'm not going to go to bed yet. All right, so what's next on the old agenda? Uh, let's go get some water and bring it up here. I'll show you how to collect water. I'm also collecting these rocks. Um, I don't want to break all of them because you need a bunch of these to make a really good campfire. So I am going to want to make a really good campfire. Or maybe not. Uh, maybe not. I might just skip that campfire altogether. We'll see how it goes. Another cool thing about this place is it's easy to get... It's easy to make mud here. And if you're wondering why it's so bright out, it's because um, I brightened up the I brightened up the um, the game. And um, I don't really need it myself, but I'm, I mentioned this a lot of times. I mentioned it again. I'm doing a YouTube video here. You guys need to be able to see and see clearly. I hate it when I watch someone like play a game and it's like dark. It drives me nuts. I mean, they could be the greatest YouTuber in the world if I can't see what's going on. You know, doesn't really mean much. Uh, are we going to boil this water now? Eh, we really don't need it. So, I guess I'll just hold on to it for now. I'm just going to spend some time uh, collecting resources. Uh, you know what I want to make? I want to make a... Oh, can I make the, um, the rope holder? Is that one of the things? All right, so there's palm leaves. Yeah, there we go. Ropes. Yeah, we're going to want to start collecting ropes and i guess i'll just um i'll just put them right here 
But anytime it's yellow like that, it's because that tree, this little tree is in the way. So you got to cut this out. I'm going to make some rope stands and start collecting ropes. These logs right here are the best wood in the game because they give you so much back. So if you break them up, right, like this, they give you two long sticks and a plank. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these long sticks. We're going to put them in here. I'm going to break another one. We're going to make one rope rack at least and start, you know, dropping off rope. I think you could hold two planks. They're pretty heavy, though. You really don't want to carry the planks around. You may think, Cage, get rid of the planks. What are you carrying the planks for? Well, I'm going to show you. All right. So now that we have the planks, we are going to make ourselves a hand drill plank. Maybe we should just make the regular hand drill. You think the hand drill plank is probably heavier? Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll just make the regular hand drill because I usually carry the hand drill around with me like because I don't like just throw it out every time I'm going out somewhere. So we're going to make the regular hand drill and see how heavy it is. I assume the plank was better build, but, you know, if, the, if it's if it's heavier, because these planks are pretty heavy. But look what happens to my, um, is 18.3, 17.6. And this thing is 16.9. Yeah, it's pretty heavy too. Okay, so we are going to need to start a fire now, and we're going to need dry grass for that. I don't, oh, that's right. Okay, so when I was out, when I was out and about, I found a bird nest. So I do have a bird nesting right there. Um, we're actually not going to start the fire though until the morning because, um, if honestly, if you don't have enough energy, yeah, if you don't have enough energy, you can't even start the fire. I'll try and start the fire and I'll, and I'll fail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the second rope, uh, stand right here and then we're going to go to sleep. Rope stands are basically done. So I'm going to show you where I sleep in this place. We're going to come right on over here. Now this is where, this is where the natives might come in and attack you. So you got to be prepared for that. It's the only thing. It's the only thing I don't like about this place. But you know, what are you gonna do? We got we got to take some chances. You know, uh, food does spoil in this game, so I'm probably gonna want to eat all the fruit in my bag once I wake up. That was actually a good time to go to bed. So let's take a look, and um, yeah, we still have a day actually. So let's see what we need. Uh, hey, we don't really need carbs. We need fats, man. Fats is I think fats is gonna be the problem. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you before I go ahead around and start collecting rope is there's going to be two things in this uh, area over here. There's going to be a snake and a killer trap. So whenever you come through, this this is those bushes, those like fields right right in the back of my base. Once you come through here, be careful. There's a snake right there. And he could be in a different spot too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset this. This is one of the, this is another cool thing about being here. This killer trap is all the protein I'm ever going to need. It will catch stuff. All I got to do is go over and check it every once in a while. And I will get some uh, kills. I'll get some bones. I'll get some meat. We'll be able to cook the meat. I'll probably make some drying racks, you know, relatively soon. And we'll go from there. Let's go around this place a little bit and see if there's any kind of food I can scrounge up. Oh, <laughs> that's from a tree I cut down, I'm sure. All right. Oh, excuse me. Coming through. Okay. It's going to be some food in here somewhere. I just don't remember where. Maybe in the microwave? Yeah. Looks like there was some shenanigans going on here. Old drug facility. Bag of nuts. Oh, bag of nuts have some fat in it. Eat. Oh, yeah. There we go. Eat. Another 20 hours on those, so that's pretty good. All right, so another cool thing about living here is bamboo. Bamboo is a phenomenal, phenomenal thing to have. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to assume you guys have been watching every video because um, this is a really important trick. So I'm going to show you guys how to carry a lot of bamboo around or anything for that matter. Um, right now I'm going to do it with bamboo, but you could do it with anything. You could do it with, you know, uh, mud, regular sticks, you know, long regular long sticks. Logs, whatever you want to do it with. But I'm going to show you. Because right now, if you if you try and carry bamboo around, you can only carry five. Right? I'm going to show you how to carry a lot more than that. Because we're going to need it for this treehouse. So I have a good amount here uh, saved up. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring up my crafting thing. And it says, oh, you can't craft anything with this. And I'm going to say, yeah, that's not what I'm, that's not what I'm using it for. Now, the only thing that's going to limit you with this is the weight of your character. Top left-hand side above my bag, there's a weight limit. And I remember doing this when there was no weight limit. You can carry whatever you want. <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, now there's a weight limit. Although these long sticks really don't take up a lot of weight. Um, I do it with the with the log sticks. And, you know, it's not as good with those. 
because of the weight, but you can still carry way more than three. So, all right, I can't. Sometimes you can't mouse over them when they're on the ground. I'm not really sure why. It's not going to matter though. That's pretty. We're pretty much on our way limit now. If you hold down the right mouse button, you can kind of aim around. And I'd suggest you don't run while doing this unless you really are in a hurry. Or maybe not even in a hurry, but just impatient. But yeah, I would strongly suggest don't run. If you if you trip in any way, these things are going to go flying all over the place. And you really don't want that. And as you can see, I have a bunch of the bamboo logs already up here. Oops. So we will drop these right here. And again, I would drop them like this. You could just you could just hit, you know, tab and whatever. But I've had that happen before. And they, like I've had them fly all over the place. You probably don't need to drop them like that. But I just it's just the way I do it. So now let's go see where we're going to make the treehouse. So the treehouse is going... These things are growing back. Like with, without me even leaving the game. Which is awesome. Because I've... Remember this tree didn't have any on it? I've already harvested it twice. Awesome. Love it. Okay. There was probably a pig. There, there can be cougars over here. It is not cougar free. So we are going to take a look at the tree houses now. You know what? I'm going to stop what I'm doing. I'm going to go save the game. Just in case. Save the game. I just collected a bunch of stuff. I know it seems crazy. Cage, you're alright. Well, you know what? You're, you're always alright until you're not. I'm telling you right now. The cougars or jaguars. Damn it. I don't remember what they're called. I... I'm going to call them Jaguars. I think they're called Jaguars. But they could come out of nowhere and mess up your day real quick. There's nothing I can do to fight him either. I don't have a good enough weapon and I have no armor. So if he if he jumps here, I'm probably dead. So. All right. So this is where we're going to put our first treehouse. And I never remember where they are. I don't know if they're in here. No, well, that's one thing we're going to use, but not not right now. All right, treehouse frame. And we want it to line up with this one. And that looks pretty good right there. And then we're going to take a treehouse platform and put it right here. And this is the one we're going to put the rope on and climb up. Hopefully the rope works okay. And that looks really good. Okay. Damn it. Oh, I put them up as regular treehouses. Son of a biscuits. I'm not using regular logs on these. I'm using bamboo logs. Just the way I like to do things. So if you want to change it to bamboo, you just click right there. And now it's a bamboo treehouse setup. And again, we just want it facing right about there. And then we want this one right there and facing... Oh, hold on. Hold. Hold your horses, Cage. Bamboo. Can't believe I almost did it twice. Actually, I can't believe it. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Let's go get some bamboo and get these things building. Uh, man, it's going to take a lot of bamboo for these. So, same thing as we did before. We are going to take these. One, two, three. All right, right there is as, as much as I can carry normally. So we can carry twice as much. So it's worth two trips. Although... You can move around a lot faster if you're just holding them. So I'm not sure this is much faster at this point. But that's okay. We'll probably be okay. I'm actually going to put it down with tab as well. And see how that goes. Alright. It worked out pretty well. Cool. So I remember like it's sometimes they'd go like flying all over the place. Maybe they fixed that. I don't know. And we'll put the rest of them in here. And now we're going to need the long bamboo sticks. I have put up food and drink for as long as I can. We're going to have to uh, get this thing going. Hopefully I can start it. Uh, we have a lot of dry leaves now, which is cool. And I wonder if I have enough energy for this. I'm going to go ahead and eat. I did find some stuff around the area. Um, I found a can, um, some candy bars, some canned food. There we go. And uh, we get a can from the canned food as well, which is pretty good. Uh, that will come into, you know, that will come into use later. And we are really got a problem with thirst now. I probably should have just put this pot under the um, the water collector. Did I even? You are too tired. Okay, well. Um, I didn't even show you this. Yeah, there's that right there. You know what? Why don't we just grab the pot and put it over there. And then we'll, we'll take a quick nap. I'm not going to, like, go to sleep, but I'm going to take a quick nap. I've been so, like, interested in building that, like, I just was not paying attention to things that matter. Like, you know hydration <laughs> and food and, and stuff like that 
But man, I really want to get that. I really want to get that thing built. I want to. I want to get the floor down today. All right, we got some real problems now. When you see the watch, that's a real issue. There we go. We got some hydration from there. Now we'll grab that. And we'll bring that over to the fire and we'll get some some real hydration. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Another way you can get um, fat is by bone, is with bones. You're going to get bones like all the time. So really, fat's not really... I totally forgot about that. Bone, bone infusion. It not only gives you fat, but it cures something. I don't remember what. Maybe fever? It might be fever. Maybe this one takes extra, like... Uh, energy you know to uh make the fire so we're gonna put that right in there i think that can hold a hundred uh wait how much can it hold hold on let's see i thought i could put two in there see if you oh no it only holds 30 oh okay all right i thought it holds a hundred it holds what it holds so if you drink this without boiling it you will get uh parasites also if you eat while you are um uh while you're dirty you will also get parasites i'm not dirty though so i'm gonna have some bananas and we're going to have some more drink. Do I actually need the drink? Yes, I do. Um, I think you do it like this. There we go. We should probably boil some more water while we got the fire going. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to grab some more water. We're going to boil some more water. I'm going to sleep pro properly through the night. And then we're going to really hit those. Uh, oh, I, oh, you know what? Before I do any of that, let's go check the trap. The trap did go off, and I didn't check it. So what'll happen is um, one of those animals will walk into the trap, and it will go off. And if you don't check it in time, the animal like just goes bad and like disappears. So you got to check the trap uh, relatively often. And well, we got a lot of protein anyway, but I'm gonna check the trap anyway. All right, what do we got over here? I'll eventually clear out all these bushes and stuff. Yep, we got something. Now, if I had a drying rack, I could simply just, you know, put these things on the drying rack. But I don't know how to make the drying rack yet. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go out and get it. It'll probably be one of the next things I do. But the thing is, if you make soup, I, I, if I remember correctly, soup never goes bad. I'm gonna set it again because there's no reason not to. But I don't plan to come over here anytime soon. Come on. Anyway, if you make soup, it never goes bad. So, but I can only make so much. What I need is tur what I need is turtles. Oh, that's right. Once I start clay, I can start making bowls. I, I, man, this game's so good. This game is so freaking good. All right, yeah. Let's make some um, let's make some bone. Let's make some meat soup. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure this thing's full of water, and then we're gonna put a piece of meat in there, and then we are going to cook a piece of meat. And meat can burn, so keep an eye on it. Also, when your fire's done, if you, it's using up wood, if you don't want the wood to get used up, you could. Uh, throw some water on the fire and it'll um it'll put it out for you. I'm actually gonna let the fire burn out because uh, I want the ash that it produces for ash bandages. Well, I think it's used for other things as well, so it will be good to get some ash. And this part is done, so now we're gonna put a floor on it. There we go. Oh, it's a regular. Mm. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. Not regular. There you go. Bamboo, bro. And... One more. Okie dokie. Now let's see how the rope thing works. Now, <laughs> the rope thing I just saved, so I'm not going to go back and save again. I was having some real issues with rope in the, you know, beta. So I'm going to, you know, pray that this is going to work okay. And... Kind of... What do you think of that? I kind of like it right here, honestly. So, I'm going to put that there. And we're going to see if we can build this. Cannot build it. Oh, there we go. Cool. And now we have... Oh, the rope actually looks better, too. So, they've done some They've done some work on it. They definitely have. And now we just need to make that part. So, we've got a, we've got a way to get off the ground. There's not too much we can do up here right now. But we need to build the next part of it. So, let's see that now. We are about to finish... Our first treehouse in survive, or at least the you know the bottom part, the skeleton part. I don't know if I'm gonna get the floor down today. We'll have to see. Depends on how how uh, expensive it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be pretty expensive. We'll probably save that for next episode. Um, I do have some rope saved up, but I'm going to grab the rope in the area because I think there's a good amount of rope around here. Uh, at least I thought there was. 
Maybe I was mistaken. All right, well, whatever. We got the rope saved up. I'm going to go grab it. And then we are going to finish the platform. And, um, yeah, I don't know about the floor. We'll see. We shall see. You know, we don't need to do everything on day one, right? I'm impatient, though. I'm an impatient, impatient man. That's not even going to be enough rope, is it? I think it needs 12. A lot of rope, man. Well, you got to make it secure, you know? It's going to be holding my butt up there. I want to make sure I'm not going to be falling. All right, please tell me you got some rope. Yeah. I feel like some of these trees, I've taken rope off twice, and some I haven't taken rope off at all, and they never had rope. I could just be mistaken about that. Probably. And there, and there. All right. And here we go. We still have to make the bridge, too. I didn't hear the, the sound. Oh, it needs more rope. That's why. Come on. Come on. So, there we go. All right. I don't know if you can set up the bridge without the floor. Let's go. Uh, let's go check it out. Climb up here and see what's what. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can't make the bridge without the floor, but let's just see what we got going on here. It's in here, isn't it? Oh, you can make it without it, I think. Whoops. Hold on. Footbridge. There we go. Oh, I made it out of logs, didn't I? You know what? I'll make the footbridge out of uh, wood. Why not? Why not? we got to mix it up a little bit. Well, because I want it all to match. Oh, you don't have a choice. The footbridge, footbridge has got to be wood. We are going to need a lot of materials for this. A lot of sticks, a lot of bamboo, and a hell of a lot of rope. Um, I think I'm going to take in between this video and next to gather a lot of that material up. Um, I was going to go exploring next episode to grab some things I need, but now we're going we're gonna to work on this next episode. I'm going to gather up a lot of resources, and I'm going to solidify my, my food, my drink, um, I'm going to look into the drying rack. If the drying rack's closed, if I think I can get to the drying, because what you have to do is, um, assuming I can't make the drying rack, I'm assuming I can't make it. I'm not going to look through all these with you on camera because it just takes forever. Um, but assuming I can't make the drying rack, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see where it is. If I can get to it in a reasonable amount of time, I will go get the drying rack. Uh, which what happens is when you look at it, you learn the recipe. Then I come back here and build it. If it's, if it's relatively far away, I'm not going to bother. We can continue just cooking food for now. What I want to do next episode is get this floor done and really get some building done on this thing. I'm freaking pumped about these tree houses and, you know, that's where we're going to be going for. It should be a lot of fun. If you guys end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.